Hello, this is Dr. Nelson. I'm bringing you a topic not enough as a lover. Not enough as a lover. This is a topic I'm bringing to you today, and my desire is to help you see where things have gone wrong in relationship, such a way that you feel you are not enough to the person you are in relationship with. Well, first of all, I just want to ask you a question. What made you think that you will be good enough to the person you are in relationship with? What made you think you are or you will be enough for her or for him? The fact is, a lot of people get into a relationship without enough knowledge as to how to make somebody feel loved enough. You know what? It's so easy to start a relationship but it's not easy to keep a relationship strong. And because it's not easy to keep a relationship strong, it means that it needs work. You need to work hard to make your partner satisfied with you. And the best way to do it is to be scientific. What do I mean? What I mean is to be scientific, you need to always remember to ask yourself a question. If you see any changes in the way your partner looks, in the way your partner treats you, Ask yourself, why? What have I done wrong? <laughs> what have I done wrong? What is amiss? If you ask this question, it will drive you to seek a solution to find out exactly what makes your partner feel uncomfortable being excited about you. Have you ever heard a, 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 a phrase which says, I love you, but I'm not in love with you? A lot of people are leaving that statement. They love somebody and they are not in love with that person. Or oh, somebody else might say to you, I love you, but I don't like you. I mean, do you see how, 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 how it's so easy for a relationship to become so boring between the two people because they're not open enough to share exactly what goes wrong in the relationship, what is not right, which can be removed. So you might... Try all that you can, but if you're not informed enough, you have a very hard time to satisfy your partner. Someone asked himself this question. I spent my entire life making people happy when all they did was leave me unhappy. I'll repeat this statement. He said, I spent, I spent my entire life making people happy when, when all they did was leaving me unhappy. The best way for you to be an, in love, uh, an, an enough love to, lover to your partner is to create an environment of, of, of openness whereby you feel free to question things, to ask things, and you are free to receive advice and opinion of your partner in a, an environment of peace. If you are not free to question your partner, there's no way your love will grow and his love will grow for you. The only way a relationship between two people will grow is when there's a, an environment of open communication, transparency in other words. A lot of people find it in hard, but that's the only way to create intimacy between two people. That's the only way to create real and effective intimacy between a man and a woman. Now, you might reach a stage where you are saying, I'm doing all that I can, but it's not good enough. Don't ever, don't ever say, I'm doing all that I can, but it's not good enough. Try to understand your partner, because this is your partner. He might, he might be scared of telling you something which you are doing wrong. He might, be, he might not be strong enough. He might, be, he might not be courageous enough to tell what you're doing wrong, for example, in bed. You see? A woman has 14 erogenous zones, while a man has got 11 erogenous zones. So if you know how to handle them uh, properly and effectively, your woman will reach a climax in a very, uh, uh, in, in a, in a, in a very exciting way, in a very uh, uh, strong way, and you will always be in her mind. Same about his man. If he, a man, if he gets a woman who is very good in bed, she will be a treasure to him. She will be a treasure to him. If you somebody, if you see somebody 
it doesn't treat you the way you deserve, it means it's something is not right in his mind. Let me tell you this. We all value something which benefits us. So, something which, which is, is useful to you, something which benefits you a lot, is something which you want to benefit. For example, your job, your work. Your employer, this job is what it gives you uh, all that you need for life. I mean, uh, uh, to buy this, to have this, uh, and to spend your money on this and then for fun and all kinds of things. We value our jobs because they are giving us money. This applies to you. You, you will only be valuable if you got enough contribution towards the happiness of your partner. Short of that, you might say something, 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 something. You might, you might, you might be tempted to say something like this. Do you sometimes feel that I'm not good enough to you? And you might feel yourself like saying, I'm sorry, I was not good enough for you, but I tried to be. And some people have reached a stage where they say, well, I'm sorry, I tried to be enough to you, but I'm not enough anymore. Though I tried, yes, you might try, but if you're not informed, you always try in the wrong direction. You'll be moving in the wrong direction. So this will be the case. The way to be informed is for you to look at your partner close and see exactly what does he expect from me. Romantically, conversationally, intellectually, sexually as well. What does he expect from me? Financially as well. I must include that as well. What does, he, what does your partner expect from you? What does your partner desire from you? There are things you need to ask yourself. Don't be complacent. It is going to cost you. Don't be complacent. It is going to cost you. So be, 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 be sure you are working hard mentally to try to find out exactly what makes your partner tick. One woman said, after being dumped, you feel very sad. And you start thinking, I wish I can get someone to say to him, let us make love all night till I feel sad no more. Well, you might find simple solution, quick solution, but the thing is your heart needs somebody special. Not everyone will be able to fill the void that needs special love. <laughs> Every day is a day to improve. You can make an improvement in, in the way you handle your relationship in, in, in different areas. And if you work hard, you'll be exciting to your partner. If you work hard, you'll be causing your partner to see a value in you. And once you see a value in you, I, I, I witnessed this. I witnessed this through my clients. When they saw change, changes, positive changes in their partners, they also changed. So don't keep on complaining, grumbling, without really thinking hard to find a solution. Well, you might have tried everything according to you. You might have tried everything according to you, but your everything is not all things. <laughs> okay, so, so I think you, you better ask yourself some good questions to find out exactly what is not right in relationship so that you will be enough to your partner. And if you're not enough, you are very likely to be dumped. So work hard so that you might always be enough to your partner. Don't ever say, uh, maybe I will not be enough for him. Maybe I can never be enough for him. No, 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 no. You can be enough, except if you don't put an effort. You are responsible for the joy and uh, peace and the quality of the relationship you are in. Please, if it's your first time to watch this video, please subscribe and be a part of this and I'll be putting new videos, different uh, uh, topics to help you improve in your relationship and my God bless you, bye.